Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you a few trades that were posted on Wednesday, 19th of July 2023. These trades were shared by RA from Seattle who is trading Nasdaq futures. As you see the macro chart here reached an area of the static support and the price got rejected. And we see here the pullback that happened. So using setup C, he entered two long positions here. And because of good momentum, added another position with setup T and also managed this proactively and closed all of this with profit. The result of the day is shown here. Three trades with 100% win rate with the largest winning trade of $58. So thank you RA for sharing your trades with us. The next trades were shared by MF who is trading your USD. As you see, the macro chart is in downtrend and we can see the same downtrend channel in the five minute structural chart that shows gain in momentum. So he identified area of pullback in this area uh, using one minute trading chart and entered two positions here with a good stop loss location and two targets as you see here. And we see here the light trace of these that were managed and the ATM is adjusting now the stop loss and trailing that to break even and now close to the target and just reach the target. So thank you very much MF for sharing your trades with us. The next trade was shared by AA who is trading Nasdaq CFD. As you see the macro chart here is in uptrend and we can see the uptrend channel that is shown here and we can see the breakout and the return of the buyers in this channel of the uptrend when the pullback completed in this structural chart. So using the smaller trading chart, he identified the area that pullback completed and based on algo 125, he entered in this area and managed this and closed it with exit stage number one with profit. And this is the result of his trades. Also, AA posted these trades that shows the market had a reversal and it started to go down. And when the momentum increased and it was a downtrend channel that you see in a structural chart here, he used the trading chart and identified two areas of the pullbacks based on algo one to five. He entered two positions here and managed an exit this with exit strategy number one with profit. So thank you AA for sharing your trades with us. The next trades were shared by Castro or global instructor who's trading Nasdaq CFT. As you see here, the one hour macro chart is showing that the price reached an area of static resistance and the buyers couldn't push the price higher. So using a smaller time frame, when he saw that the sellers are back and the resistance is holding, he identified this as a good area for setup B and entered here with good risk to reward ratio and managed this trade and closed it with profit. So thank you Castro for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades were shared by Jan or Global Instructor who is trading Nasdaq futures. As you see the macro chart is in wide range sideways and we can see that this and when the price was going up, this channel was traded with some long positions. And when the price reached this area of the resistance and couldn't hold and the sellers came back, he took several sell short position on the downtrend channels and managed and closed this with profit. And the result shows from this seven trade, he reached 100% win rate and the largest winning trade was $83. So thank you, Jan, for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades are those that I have taken during the New York market session and the video with detailed explanation was sent to students yesterday. So I'm going to replay the video here for you. Hello everyone. I'd like to share with you my trades today on Wednesday, 19th of July, 2023. These trades were taken on NASDAQ and Dow Jones and S&P 500. If you look at the macro chart, we see that the price uh, was fluctuating around the previous day close and during the London session it started to go up and retesting this level again and during the New York market session it passed the previous day high and went much further but couldn't hold it and the price retraced sharply and for S&P it went and tested the previous day high and stayed around this area and for Nasdaq wasn't so bullish and it went all the way below the previous day close and fluctuating between these two levels. So just at the beginning when it was trendy, I took some long position on the Nasdaq as you see. 
and some good runners and on volume also the same time around 935 to 950 some long positions these are all in these channels as you see going up and for S&P 500 I waited for the end of the market when I came back and in this area after rejection at this level and these candles that were going the last 15 minutes I took some long positions here and all these signals were copied by copy trader to multiple Apex Trader funds accounts so on overall the result was positive with the profit factor which was about 1.15 with about 60% win rate from long sides and average win to loss ratio of 0.8 and the largest winning trade was 720 and the largest losing trade was 584 dollars so i hope these trades taken by the path system is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions have a wonderful day